Last 24 hours have been very significant for Indian Navy. The Navy got its first multipurpose vessel, MPV, built by Indian private defense company LNT yesterday. And today, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh laid foundation stone of very low frequency VLF communication transmission station for Indian Navy in Damagundam forest area at Vikrabad in Telangana today. The strategically important VLF facility, once it becomes fully operational in two to three years, will provide round the clock encrypted communication connectivity to submerged submarines across India's entire area of interest. Indian Navy will utilize this advanced facility to seamlessly communicate with its stealthy predators, including ships and submarines, out on long range patrols. VLF radio waves, which operate in frequency band of 3 to 30 kilohertz, can penetrate seawater to a certain depth for such purposes. Only a few nations have such VLF capabilities, which are especially critical for command and control of nuclear submarines deployed on long-range deterrent patrols. The Navy has been running a VLF station at Tirunel Valley in Tamil Nadu since 1990. The new state-of-the-art VLF facility at Vikarabad is necessary for maintaining 24-7 into 365 days communication for the planned induction of both diesel-electric as well as nuclear submarines, with an eye firmly on China's increasing naval forays into the Indian Ocean region. Indian Navy's another milestone was launching its first multi-purpose vessel. First of the two MPVs, MPVs means multi-purpose vessels project built by India's defense major Larson and Tubro for Indian Navy was launched on Monday at LNT shipyard Katupali near Chennai. Admiral Dinesh Ketripathi, chief of the naval staff, presided over the ceremony. According to Indian Navy, the ship has been named Samarthak, which means supporter and is synonymous with the multi-dimensional role envisaged from the platform. During the event, Navy chief emphasized the importance of MPVs as critical enablers with a multi-dimensional role. He stated, for enhancing the Indian Navy's blue water capabilities, providing the forward deployed units the necessary mobility, flexibility and versatility in demonstrating poise, presence and reach to deliver the desired effects at the place and time of our choosing. These vessels will be capable of towing ships, launching and recovering various targets, operating unmanned autonomous vehicles and serving as a tri trial platform for various indigenous weapons and sensors under development. The MPV will be used to test indigenous weapons, sensors, equipment, including surface and subsurface target towing. According to the Navy, launching the ship by a private Indian shipyard is another milestone in indigenous shipbuilding and is in accordance with the government's vision of Atmanirbha Bharat and Make in India. Our borders, a symbol of strength, guarded by our brave warriors. As the proverb goes, armor strengthens the greatest warrior. A1's fences are that armor for the armed forces. A1 fence delivers quality in every inch, products, services, and insights, providing solutions, tackling every challenge in any terrain or condition. A1 fence, securing our borders silently.